بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ڈیئر اسٹوڈنٹس وی آر گوئنگ ٹو اسٹارٹ آور ویک نمبر سیون فور گریڈ سکس دا ٹاپکس وی آر گوئنگ ٹو ہیو آر دا گرامر ری انفورسمنٹ آف کلیکٹیو ناؤنس پلورلس پراپر ناؤنس جینڈرس پریزنٹ ٹینس اینڈ پنکچویشنس دیز آل ٹاپکس وی ہیو ڈن ان دا پریویس ویکس And now we're going to reinforce them today. In resources, we have Junior English Book. And our source, of course. Methodology, we have audio aids, visual aids, explanations, assignments. Learning objectives. Students will be able to identify collective nouns, plurals, proper nouns, genders, present tense, and punctuation. Attempt an assignment with good understanding. Collective nouns. The term collective noun denotes a group of objects, people, animals, or ideas as a single concept or a single thing. Though a collective noun is not a single person or a thing in a group, It is considered as a single idea, entity or thing. It is also known as group noun. As we can just look in the examples, Napoleon's army finally faced defeat at Waterloo. Now, in army, there are so many people, so many soldiers, but it is called army as one unit, collective noun. Our cricket team has star players who can win the World Cup. The committee has enjoyed donuts with a tea. The audience was happy with the stage performance. She comes from a decent family. Plurals. Plural nouns are words used to indicate that there is more than one person, animal, place, thing or idea. When you talk about more than one of anything, you are using plural nouns. When you write about more than one of anything, you usually use the same word, simply adding an S, E, S or I, E, S to the end. We have read all the different rules of plurals in our previous presentation. Examples of plural nouns, the boy had a baseball in his hand. The boys were throwing baseballs back and forth between bases. My horse prefers to wear an English saddle. Our horses are much happier wearing lime, lightweight English saddles. Your mom is going to be upset about that broken lamp. Our moms are going to be upset that we stayed out all night going to parties. Proper nouns. A proper noun is any noun that names anything specific. Therefore, a proper noun is any particular name of a person, place or thing. Proper nouns are always capitalized. Examples of proper nouns. I want to be a writer. In proper noun we say Agatha Christie wrote many books. So the name of writer is obvious here. Would you like a cookie? In proper noun we would say I am craving Oreos. The name of a cookie. That is proper. I think that's a planet not a star. I can see Jupiter tonight. Jupiter is the name of a planet. Let's go to the city. Let's go to Islamabad. So it's only city. So it's proper noun. Genders. There are four types of gender nouns in English. Masculine gender nouns are words for men, boys and male animals. Feminine gender nouns are words for women, girls and female animals. Common gender nouns are nouns that are used for both males and females. Neuter gender. Nouns are words for things that are not alive. Example of masculine and feminine nouns are for people. Male, female, actor, actress, bridegroom, dad, mom, king, queen. Masculine and feminine nouns for animals. Rooster, hen. Bull, cow. Fox, vixen. Lion, lioness. Peacock, peahen. Common gender nouns. Babies, students, teachers, doctors, engineers, artists, dentists. So they can be male, they can be female, both. So that was why they are common gender nouns. The neuter gender nouns, hospital, school, knife, chair, fire stick, book, bag. They can't be human. They can't be living things. 
present tense. The simple present tense is when you use a verb to tell about things that happen continually in the present, like every day, every week or every month. We use a simple present tense for anything that happens often or is factual. Here are a few examples. I go to school every day. We play outside after school each day. Every Monday they eat spaghetti for dinner. In these sentence, sentences, go, play and eat are in the simple present tense. The first form of the verb is used. The tell about things that happen repeatedly in the present. The simple present tense is also used with basic facts as well. For example, the sky is blue. It is always blue. We cannot say the sky was blue. Punctuations. Punctuation is a set of marks that regulates and clarifies the meanings of different texts. The purpose of punctuation is to clarify the meanings of texts by linking or separating words, phrases or clauses. So there are pauses, there are full stops, there are question marks, there are exclamation marks, they all are punctuation marks. Yesterday, rain, fog, today, frost, mist. So all the pauses and stops are due to the punctuation marks. Cycling is a good form of exercise. Cycling sentence starts with capital letter and ends on full stop. Is this your assignment? It is a question, so ends on question mark. Don't pick that. This is an exclamatory sentence, ends on exclamation mark. How are you? She asked. This is a dialogue. So the dialogue is inside the quotation marks. You will need eggs, butter, salt and cheese. All these things are differentiated with the comma. The recap of this lesson, we have collective nouns, we have plurals, we have revised proper nouns, we have done genders, we have come to know about present tense and we have confirmed about the punctuation marks. So now assignments. In assignment, you can see the collective nouns. Complete the following sentences using appropriate collective nouns. You have to add from the list which is in your book. You have to add these collective nouns in these blanks. A dash of locustus attacked, a dash of cattle, a dash of birds is always a beautiful sight. They welcomed the chief guest with a dash of flowers. As we drove down the countryside, we saw a dash of sheep grazing in the fields. So as number till number 8, you have to see and attempt now plural nouns you can see question number two write these nouns in plural there are 16 words given to turn into plurals number question three some of these words are wrong correct them or write okay if they are right like they are given all the words some are correct and some are incorrect suppose the word children it is already plural so you need to write OK in front of it. And some, if they are wrong, you have to correct them. Question number four, <clears throat> fill in the blanks with is or are. The blanks are given and you have to add is or are for showing whether the <coughs> you are given it plural or singular. Now comes proper noun assignment. List down the proper nouns and common nouns separately. There are 10 sentences given to you. You have to make two columns. In one you just write proper and another you write common. And sort out all the proper nouns in the proper noun column and the common nouns in the common noun column. And you know that what are the proper nouns and what are the common nouns. Genders. Question number six is change the nouns in bold from the feminine to and masculine and to the masculine to feminine now there are given few of the words in these 20 sentences you have to convert them suppose number one question my uncle visits his nephew every weekend uncle and nephew both are in bold you have to change them into masculine or if it is required into feminine same is the case with next sentences lady drakes daughter mother actor prince queen widow manager bachelor Tiger hero, son-in-law steward, count brother, author emperor, bridegroom priest, brother waiter, dog milkman, cock fox, manservant duke, husband conductor, 
postman, postmaster, lad, monk, sultan, stallion, father-in-law, landlord. Now in simple present tense. Question number seven is about simple present tense. You have to fill in the blanks with appropriate simple present tense form of the verbs given in the brackets. Now in the brackets, there are form of the verbs given and you know that in simple present tense, which form of the verb comes. So you have to change it if it is required or otherwise just add it as it is. Like in the brackets, the verbs are given arrive, come, start, rise, begin, be, be, depart, finish, arrive. So you should be knowing that what are these forms and which words are coming out of them. Now punctuations. Punctuation is given 10 sentences. Punctuate the following sentences and you have to punctuate them. Whatever punctuation marks are required, you have to add in them. The bibliography. There are few links <coughs> given to you and with, in these links I have given you interactive games to do. Like number one is about collective nouns. <coughs> you will get interactive games about collective nouns, then plural nouns, then common and proper nouns, then about gender nouns, then about present tense, and then about punctuations. Okay students, thank you. Hope you will be enjoying this reinforcement presentation and you will be able to do all the assignments yourself accurately. You will search the links, do the games and always be awesome. Thank you.